is the time of year brides work at full throttle to prepare for the big day. Shaq Shackelford looks at what's hot in 2013 around town. Owner of Faciano's, Jennifer Thompson, will tell you brides in 2013 better be wearing a veil. I tell the brides, listen, if you don't wear a veil, then you're not a bride. You're actually just wearing a pretty white dress and you look very pretty. Expect to see lots of ruffles, lace, sheer and vintage looks, just like we saw on the red carpet at the Golden Globes last night. The bling is on every dress. Brides are showing personality, whether it's toms or cowboy boots, or just adding peacock feathers to their heels. And bridesmaids? We see a lot of knee-length dresses, and I think it goes back to doing the cowboy boots. And I think that all goes back to Taylor Swift. Thompson says to guarantee getting the looks you want, brides should start preparing at least nine months ahead of wedding day. Another trend making its way around Tulsa, a little Japanese chit-chat, Pecha Kucha. God bless you. It's an event that started in Tokyo in 2003, and now in hundreds of cities all over the world. Young minds networking their ideas in a unique way. Their presentation must contain 20 images, and you get 20 seconds to talk about each one. It's really just a fast way to share current projects, new ideas, things that you're interested in. You find people you don't really know that, that you have that much in common, but you really do. Also Saturday, call it Gloga, Glow Yoga, complete with glow paint, shirts, and necklaces. It started as a one-time event last fall, but was so wildly popular, Live Present Yoga added more. To support all those that love yoga in the community and potentially to bring some more people to yoga. If you want to take part, the next Glow Yoga is February 9th at the Yoga Room. For The List, I'm Shaq Shackelford.